Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and we are going to be reviewing this. The Cardo Freecom 1 Plus. And I'm also going to show how it's going to work on this. the Harley Davidson boombox system I probably should say boombox GTS okay all right so Freecom I have here show two setups uh, similar actually pretty much set up the same way uh, modular with the boom over there, right here, as you can see, and a full face, and the boom is obviously located on the inside there. If you can see that it's right here. And while I have it like this, uh, that's how I have it set up. It holds on nice, nice and tough. Now, I'm not going to go show how to. Um, I'm not going to show how to um, mount these and set them up inside the helmet. They're pretty straightforward. Just you know, take the lining off and and stick the speakers on the inside. There's videos there for that. I will though say one thing which on, on Cardo's uh, installation videos that they have, they actually say this, but I think some people sometimes seem to not pick up on it. The, the lining up of the speaker to your ear, very important. It is very important. I, at first I was like, this wasn't exactly there for me. But then after I saw that video and I realized, wait a minute, let me go back and try to adjust the speakers the way they're saying to make sure that it lines up properly inside the helmet with my ear and big difference big big difference so now I am really happy with the sound quality of it um, that is one timbit that I'd uh, be sharing with you um, okay so I have two they pair to each other uh, very straightforward by just turning them on yeah you know here um oh connected yeah it's connected so right now it's connected they're both blinking and without uh, without showing t it's connected um, if I go to the Cardo app there it is battery life so on intercom so it's right now it's connected to both, play your radio, phone, and so on. Not to go in deep, it's very simple function right now on this. The main thing I want to show is basically it's a good product. They talk well with each other. The, how do I say, passenger to passenger, um, the quality is fair or okay it's not great it's not like fully fully clear like it's you can understand people talking even with noise even on the road and stuff like you can hear fair I, I don't know like when you're listening to music the quality is nice it's good it's really good but then when this when passenger to passenger I guess maybe it be it, it's the 
the noise cancelling tries to mask everything else and just focus on the audio, uh, the v vocals too much, and then it just comes out too, uh, how do I say, strong, and cuts off very quickly. Sometimes it's like because it's trying to mask the, you know, noise cancelling is trying to kick in and cancel the, the surrounding noise. But but overall, it does its job. That's what is important. It does the job. Um, oh, ignore the setup. I kind of had to prepare this here in the garage. So, yeah. If just found this, figured it will look good. Um, okay. Now, I am winging this. Let's see how we can get this to work. Yeah, I should plug in the phone and show. Show. Let me. Give me one second. Let me adjust this here. All right. You guys can see that. Yeah, it's close enough. There's plenty of videos showing the part here of the screen. I'm not going to get into that, but. Um, in my show quickly previous videos of the connecting uh, Apple CarPlay, yeah, boom, there it is. Hey Zoom. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, let's, uh, whatever, we're not playing anything. Oh, the apps, let's just show the apps. There it is, better. Apps, yeah, got it. All right, so the phone's connected. The phone is connected uh, via the wire. The phone is connected via Bluetooth to the headset and to both headsets and everything so that's all connected right now uh, so basically pair the devices together uh, the helmets fine or just have one connected fine um, and you can connect it connect your phone to, the, to your bike have it charging fine that works too have your apps on there play your music from you know from here I'm not gonna play it but yeah, it works. Uh, now, the million dollar question. I should get, hold on, I'll be right back. Yeah. Let me quickly, I don't, Obviously, I don't ride with this here. Perfect. This is for demonstrations purposes only. There's a device again. There it is. I'll show that like that. Okay. Something I'm missing. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I hope this works. Hope I don't have to do this this video a uh, hundred times to get it to work properly. Now, I should probably explain. Probably should explain this in the beginning. So. The boombox, um, okay, Harley-Davidson designed this so that they can have their generic uh, Bluetooth headset connect to their system. Correct, 100%. We're not doing that here. This is not about connecting the Bluetooth headset to the boombox. Absolutely not. This is about the, the headset is connecting to the phone 
the phone is connecting to the boombox via the wire. Fair? Good. So that is, I'm not here trying to show that it's, there's a workaround. I mean, there's that, the, the, I'm not the workaround, that this is a, this is going to be connecting directly to, no, to the boombox. It does not do that. So what I want to show now is when I get a call, let's say I'm, I want to, I'm getting a call and I want to, I want to show how that works. So, as I said, the Cardo is connected via Bluetooth to the phone. The phone is plugged in to the boombox. I'm going to show the phone plugged into the boombox, and then I'm also going to show the Bluetooth the phone connected to the to the radio to the boombox via Bluetooth if that makes sense there's two methods of connection Bluetooth to phone or wire to phone but the only way to get CarPlay to work is via wire that's why I'm showing that right now alright so I'm gonna make a call to myself I do have another phone and I'm going to call to show how that works. Now, any numbers showing up, I will be obviously blocking that. Come on. There we go. Bruno Fallio, Bruno Fallio, or one other. Okay, so it's ringing. At this point, I just go to my car, click there. And now, it has picked up the call. Um, it has picked up the call on the car. And if I want to hang up, press it again, and then I hang up. That's how that works. There it is. Now, if I if I want to make a call, I can, if I choose to, I can make a call by simply clicking there. And there you see I'm making a call and it's going to ring back here and if I obviously answer so if I answer right now I am currently talking through here hello hello And if I want to hang up the call, press that, hang up. I don't know if you saw that, and I hanged up. I probably have to redo this video again, but whatever. Okay. <sighs> Blew a lot of things. Okay. So. Now I've shown you, so I've shown you the, that I can receive a call. I can receive a call and answer on the cardo. I can make a call through the boom box and it will come up with a cardo. Okay, again, and the explanation for this is very straightforward is basically the cardo is connected via bluetooth to the phone which the phone is the main hub right the wire is just simply showing you the car play and being i'm able to do the functions from there so basically whatever i do here it's controlling the phone 
Like this car, the CarPlay is just basically an image of the phone. So whatever I do there, it's going to activate whatever's in the phone. And then since the phone is the one that's connected to the Cardo, it's going to bring the audio to the Cardo. That makes sense? Okay. Now, if I do via Bluetooth, it's the same thing, right? Um, let's show see how, show that how that works. But it's basically the same thing. So, right now, it's um, <clears throat> set up. List of pair of devices. Yeah, that's connected. So right now the phone is v connected to the blue uh, to the boombox via Bluetooth, and since it's an iPhone, it is capable of connecting two Bluetooth devices. Actually, let me bring up the Bluetooth listings here and confirm that if you're able to see that, but there is two Bluetooth connected, the Boombox GTS and the Freecom Plus. So that's how they're both connected. Now, same thing. If I make a call using this phone, which I will do right now, it's gonna show up there it's showing up here, so there's a, now the boombox Bluetooth kicking in. I instead of accepting it there, which I I probably can, but the better way would be to click here. And by clicking there, you see it's uh, it took the call, right? And I end close that. Freecom one from Cardo. great unit I definitely recommend it why did I go with the Freecom one and not the talk pack or whatever the other brands the other models are basically price cheaper obviously uh, secondary I don't ride with that many people so I'm pretty much solo or I have a passenger with me and so when that's the case pretty much this 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 setup works uh i would definitely strongly recommend recommend it to uh to um i strongly recommend if you're looking for something that's just to give you your music your communication to receive calls it's perfect for that it's all you need Battery life is amazing. You literally can ride all day long and probably go for another day after that on one charge. I I haven't had any issues of it ever dying on me, ever. And I've done really long, long hours. It was something like six, seven hours of riding and I have plenty of battery for this. And I've gone the next day again riding and I still have battery. So no issues whatsoever you will definitely enjoy it now if you're planning on obviously riding with a group of guys or you have a group that you ride with and you guys would like to you know the group likes to talk with each other all the time while you're riding this is not for that um, these two have a, an okay range of let's say 50 feet or so you can be about 50 feet apart from each other they and they start crackling up a bit but this is strictly for rider to passenger setup so it works good with that for that function and that's it and you, know, you could share your music as well that's all details in the that you probably know already by now okay thanks again Subscribe, click the like button. Hopefully you found this video entertaining. If not entertaining, educate.